on guys, Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you a real quick video. I wanted to go over the five characteristics that all successful traders have. Now, this doesn't matter what you're trading, when you're trading it, what style of trader you are, where you're from, what language you speak, it doesn't matter. All that I want to go over and make sure it's very clear is there are five characteristics every successful trader possesses. I have traded with numbers of traders from all over the world, trading all different markets, all different account sizes. I've been next to people in trading floors that are trading hundreds of thousands of dollars a day. I've been next to people that trade $10 a day. Um, I've been next to people that trade options and futures and Forex. You name it, I've traded with a number of different companies and I've seen a number of different styles of trading. But there is one thing that holds true through all the traders I've met, all the traders I've taught, all the traders who have taught me that I've traded with, um, is that there are five characteristics successful traders all possess every one of them me included I am a successful trader I've been trading for a long time I've had a lot of success trading the foreign currency market specifically and I noticed these are characteristics I have but as well a lot of the traders that I have traded with in the past were successful at the companies I've traded with and every single one of them had these characteristics so I want you to pay attention focus take notes and remember these characteristics because it's going to take evolving and adapting and bringing these characteristics into your persona to be able to succeed as a trader. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. Check out all the videos. I cover a number of topics, a lot of the different topics that I'll go over in this video. I have in-depth videos about on my page. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Turn on your notifications so that every time I drop a new video, you're notified. Share your comments below whether you like it or don't like it. Give me a like. Um, I really, really, truly encourage you to give me your feedback. That's how I pick what to come out with next. And that is how I know how I'm doing with these videos with you guys. So again, I appreciate you tuning in. All my loyal followers who come back to watch all my videos. Love all you guys. Can't thank you all enough. Um, I really do appreciate it. But this video, again, staying on topic, back on course. I want to cover the five characteristics all successful traders have because I think this is huge. Topic number one, which may seem a little cliche, a little obvious, is you have to be hungry. Every trader I've ever met is hungry that is successful. Every successful trader I've ever met is hungry. Now, this includes traders who've been doing it for 30 years and have found tons of success, and this includes traders who I just started teaching who just learned about the Forex markets yesterday. You need to be hungry. Now, not I, I, the main thing I'm using hunger for in this sense is for knowledge. And I don't just mean knowledge about the markets, about whatever market you're trading, about trading in general. I mean um, hungry to learn everything possible. And a lot of that that you're going to learn is about yourself. So you have to stay hungry. You have to stay wanting to take in as much as you possibly can, day and night. Every free second of the day, successful traders that I know, that I've traded with, are constantly trying to improve themselves and grow and learn. And they stay hungry by doing this. Every time they're on a car drive, they're listening to something that, that they can learn from. Every time they're uh, in a train, doing something where they are waiting. And most people would be playing a game on their phone or playing Xbox with their friends or uh, doing a number of different hobbies. The traders that I know that are successful take those times to learn. Whether it's reflecting on themselves, whether it's a new book they're reading, whether it's a new... Um, a news article about the markets, whether it's a new technical analysis article about something to learn, whatever it is, you have to stay hungry if you want to succeed in this game. And you have to constantly, constantly, constantly be looking to learn more and improve yourself. The second characteristic I see amongst all successful traders is to develop and have a very routine-oriented lifestyle. Now, this doesn't mean you have to eat at the same time every day. You have to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time. There are a lot of habits you can develop that will help that are routine-oriented. Waking up at the same time is one of the things I actually do recommend. I recommend being up early, and I recommend picking a time every day. Your body gets used to it. You get into cycles, and you get, you get comfortable. You want to develop good habits and turn them into routines you follow daily. You want to trade the same exact times every day. This will help you identify the moves, the market moves in around that time and get used to it. You want to check the news the same time every day and maybe periodically throughout the day in the same order, in the same fashion. You want to develop very cyclical, routine-oriented habits that will help you develop good habits and successful routines and things that will keep you focused, right? 
You want to get the most out of your time every second of every day. And having routines and structure and guidance will help you to do that. Now, routines can be, um, your again, your wake-up routine, your study routine. You read 25 pages of a book before you go to bed. Um, you reflect on your, your trades every single day at the same time. It doesn't have to be exact same times every single day, but the more structured and routine you make trading and you make your life around it, the higher your chances of success are going to be. The successful people in any, any profession, trading, yes, is the one I'm talking about here. But this goes for athletes, this goes for CEOs, this goes for top successful people in any lifestyle are very routine-oriented and have set structures they follow to keep them focused, keep them on their goals, on their routines, on their whatever they want to achieve in life, and keeps them focused. And having routines, setting these routines daily is how you will get there. The third and probably most difficult of the five characteristics is discipline. In trading, I cannot even begin to explain enough how important discipline is. Discipline in a number of different aspects, and discipline is a huge part of life in general. You know, you don't want to um, eat garbage food that tastes really good every meal of every day of your life because you'll end up a fat, unhealthy slob. And you need to be disciplined and choose your battles and eat and eat right and do the right thing. So with trading, you need to be extremely disciplined in a number of different ways. You need to be very, very disciplined with your trading plan, right? You have to have a plan. You have to be structured and set and, and very specific, but you need to be disciplined enough to follow it. You need to be disciplined enough to go to bed early so that you can wake up early. You need to be disciplined enough to do a lot of things. And in trading, controlling your emotions is going to be the biggest, biggest, biggest part of discipline. This is something that takes time to learn. Being disciplined is a characteristic that people have inherently, or you don't, but you can work on it. You can develop it. You can find what your strengths and what your weaknesses are and build your strategy, your routines, your plans around them so that your discipline becomes part of your life, right? So you need to be disciplined in a lot of different aspects of trading, with your trading plan, with your lifestyle, with your routines. Everything needs discipline, but you need to also develop what your strengths and weaknesses are and build your lifestyle around them to help you out with your discipline. So you need to have total control over your emotions, but you need to do things to help you more easily manage your emotions. For an example, as a trader, if you, uh, you know, notice yourself entering trades, going into profit, and then closing them early a lot because you don't want price to turn against you, you get anxious, you get nervous, um, your patience isn't there, and your discipline isn't there and strong enough to stay in the trade, then you need to do something with your lifestyle to help that. You need to, after you get into your trades, stop yourself from looking at the charts. You need to play a sport. You need to do something. Read a book. Uh, something to take you away from it to make you control your emotions and use that discipline based off your routine and your plan. So you need to use your lifestyle and your strengths and weaknesses to control your discipline. But being disciplined as a trader is essential. If you don't have discipline, you will never make it as a trader. So you need to work on, pay attention to, and focus on your discipline. And where you are lacking, where you are good. And build your strategy, your plan, your lifestyle around these strengths and weaknesses. You need, to, everybody's different. And you need to learn to take advantage of what you're good at and shut out, block off, and control and limit what you're not good at. That is life, but in trading specifically, you need to work on your discipline. And that is why in my course I teach people to develop strategies, plans, routines, structures around them personally. Because everybody's different. Everybody trades differently, and everybody should approach trading differently. And having discipline is that way to do it. And, and you learn your strengths and weaknesses to develop your discipline around what you need to focus on and what you need to um, control your emotions and, and your self-awareness and your self-control and everything around. So discipline is very, very crucial and something you need to pay attention to. And number four, another extremely important and, and very relevant characteristic you need to have that all traders that succeed long-term have. All of them. I don't, I don't care. Again, what you're trading, what you're doing, how you're doing it. All successful traders I have encountered throughout my career are versatile. That is number four, versatility. Versatility is the ability to adapt and change and overcome uh, an environment that is changing. And as you guys know, in the world of trading, the environment is constantly changing. There are constantly new events going on macroeconomically, microeconomically. There are constantly regulations changing, 
politicians changing, um, everything you could think of affects the financial markets and trading. And these things are dynamic and constantly changing. The markets are constantly changing. That's why you hear strategies that worked last year are irrelevant now. That's why 20 years ago traders are trading entirely different ways that they are nowadays. That's why computer and algorithm-based trading is so huge nowadays. The markets constantly adapt and change. And as a trader, you have to be willing and able to adapt with them or they'll leave you behind. If you're too stuck in your ways and unable to adapt and evolve and overcome, you will not improve. You will just get chewed up, spit out, and left behind by the markets. Whatever market is you're trading, I don't care. And you, they don't. The markets don't care about you and your feelings and your life. The markets are just going to keep on going and changing and evolving and adapting. And if you're not able to keep up with it and have the open mind and ability to adapt with them, you're going to get left behind. And trading is just going to be a hobby that just rips your money out of your bank account, and, and that's all. So if you want to really make it in trading and really be successful, you have to know to be open-minded, to have versatility, to be able to adapt and change and overcome and, and notice when you need to do these things, or you'll never make it. That brings us to the fifth and final characteristic that successful traders have, and this is by far the most important characteristic. All of these are essential, all of these are important, but this one is by far the most important, and that is being humble. Humble beings and um, people that put their ego aside, their pride aside, when it comes to trading are the ones that are able to succeed the quickest and the most. Now, trading is a very introspective career, profession, whatever you want to call it. You must be able to look into yourself See what you are doing and improve. You don't have a team, a team around you. You're not working a job where you've got an accounting department, you've got a marketing department, you've got a human resources department. You all work together. You all lean on each other. You all support each other. Um, you are trading alone in a very, very, very aggressive, rough, tough world. The pigs get slaughtered, right? The world of trading is not for everybody. And it is very, very savage and brutal. And if you are not able to notice what you're doing, look inside yourself, and learn from your mistakes, you, you have no shot. You, honestly, I hate saying this because I like helping traders of all kinds, and I think anybody is coachable. But if you have a very strong ego, and you are not humble, and you cannot accept when you're wrong, you're not going to make it in trading. Trading is all about facing adversity. Losing is a massive part of trading, hugely important part of trading. And if you can't take your losses on the chin, face it like a man, and learn from it to improve the next time, you're not going to be able to succeed. You must be able to get knocked down over and over and over and get up, not only back to your feet, but stronger. And learn from your mistakes. Learn from how you fell. Look back at what made you fall, what you could do to not fall next time, and move on. But you have to know that falling is part of it. You, There's no such thing as a trader that doesn't lose. So if you can't take losses, you can't take trading. So this is something, again, over time you will develop and, and get better at and improve with and get more custom to. And as you trade more money, you're able to trade bigger losses and bigger wins. Um, but if you're not able to face adversity and be humble and and learn from everybody you meet, you're not going to be able to make it. My outlook on life, luckily, I was taught from a very early age, and that is that every person you ever meet, from the janitor to the CEO to the homeless guy to the drug addict to the rock star to the pro athlete, has something to teach you. Everybody has a different past. Everybody has different experiences, different expertise. Everybody has something to teach you. And in trading, you have to be humble. You have to be hungry, and you have to be willing to learn from everybody and anybody. I have learned so much from students of mine who have never traded a day in their life, who have just started trading, or who have traded a long time and have lost money for a decade straight. I have learned so much from all my students, from all the people I've encountered in my life, that it has helped me become who I am today. If I wasn't the humble being I am, I would not be able to make it in trading and continue to succeed in trading like I do. So being humble, being able to face adversity, being able to look your mistakes dead in the eye, look your losing trades dead in the eye, and see what you did wrong to learn and improve for the next time around, 
is, 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 is just part of the game. It's essential. You cannot make it in this without it. You must accept what happens, learn from it, and move on. If you have too much pride, too much ego, then losses are going to destroy you mentally. And you're going to just have too much emotion. And that discipline characteristic I was just talking about is going to get overcome with fear, regret, greed, anger. All these things that the ego and the pride of human beings flawed happen are going to destroy you as a trader. If you're too strong of an ego person and too prideful, you're going to lose a trade and revenge trade like a bastard to try to get that money back. You're going to be so mad and so broken ego bot wise and pridefully that you're going to want to get right back into that trade to get that money immediately back to get rid of that feeling of I just got beat by the markets and it's going to destroy you. So you have to be humble. You have to take losses as a learning experience and move on. Losses are a massive part of trading. And the traders that I've seen get chewed up and spit out the most are the ones that cannot handle them. The ones that think that they are on top of the world and that everything that they get into, they're a master of the next week. And they just crash and burn in trading. Because trading is, is a very, very tough field. And without these characteristics guiding you, helping you, letting you learn from your mistakes and from other traders and from every trade you make and your introspection, you're not going to make it in this. So you have to be humble. Very, very, very important. All right, guys, so that covers the five characteristics I wanted to go over with you that all successful traders have. Again, I've traded with traders from all over the world, hundreds of different traders. I've taught and helped thousands of different traders from all different backgrounds, all different types, um, styles, markets, you name it. And these characteristics, all five of them, every successful trader I've encountered have. Okay, so focus on these. Write them down. Put them on your wall. Put them on the background of your computer. Put them somewhere so you see them every day and you know to work on them. These aren't things that you have to be born with and you either do or don't have them. A lot of them have a lot to do with that. But these are things that you can practice. You can work on. You can change your lifestyle to be um, catered to certain things. If you're not hungry, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video. You probably wouldn't be trying to improve yourself. You probably wouldn't be trying to trade to make yourself financially free and, and um, improve your life. So... You most likely have hunger, but that is huge, and that's something that needs to stay a burning fire. It can't just, oh, I'm, I've been consistently profitable for a few months. I'm just going to stop caring about learning more. I'm going to stop being hungry, and I'm just going to go with it now. The markets are going to leave you behind. You, you're not going to be able to adapt and be versatile enough to change with them. If you're not versatile, again, the same thing is going to happen. The market's going to chew up spit you up. So um, you have to be hungry. You have to have routine-oriented lifestyles. You have to be very structured and routine-based. You have to set goals. You have to achieve them. You have to do things consistently. Consistency is massively important and the only way to succeed in trading. So that these routines will create consistency. Like going to the gym. They say get in a routine, right? Go every day at the same time because then you'll get in a routine. You'll get in a structure. You'll get your consistency, and you'll do it. Same thing with trading. These good, healthy habits need to become routine to help develop them. Right? You need to be disciplined. You have to have discipline to follow these routines. You have to have discipline to follow your trading plan, to follow your trading rules, to follow everything you're supposed to do. You have to have discipline. You have to be versatile. You have to be able to adapt, and you have to be humble. You have to take your losses. You have to learn from the guy next to you. You have to learn from the losing trader, from the winning trader, from the stock trader, the bond trader, the forex trader, the crypto trader, the guy at the bank, the homeless guy. You have to learn from everybody and be humble, and humble in victory and defeat. Right? Humble is what you need to be. So all these characteristics are what you need to be to succeed. There are other characteristics, but these are the five major ones I've come to notice every trader I know has. Thank you guys. I love you all. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. We're in a little bit longer than I would have hoped it to be, but there was a ton of good information, useful information, strong information in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys take it in. I hope you guys rewatch this and really focus on these characteristics to help you improve your trading.